In nearly three decades here at NBC News, Pete has covered the Supreme Court, the Justice Department, and much more as our justice correspondent. He's the best of the beat, but don't call him NBC's chief justice correspondent because, as Pete says, he covers a whole lot more than just the chief justice. Anyway, when it comes to some of the biggest Supreme Court decisions, Pete broke them down better and faster than anyone else. But there's no doubt here, Tom, there's just no way that the court thinks a recount is possible. And, and we should say again, uh, obviously the justices have had more than 24 hours to prepare this rather splintered up opinion. It's, it's in many sections, but there's no question it is a 5-4 vote. Historic ruling here. For the first time, the Supreme Court has said there is a constitutional right <coughs> Excuse me, to same-sex marriage. You can hear the cheer in the crowd, a very dramatic moment here. So the bottom line here is the Supreme Court has upheld the health care law. And when it came to reporting on some of the FBI's most important investigations, Pete always had the inside scoop. He's the consummate journalist, best kind of colleague, and also our resident jokester. He's earned the respect and admiration, <laughs> not only all of us, but those he's covered as well. Just this week, when the Attorney General Merrick Garland sat down for an exclusive interview with uh, Lester Holt, he called Pete a fantastic reporter who tells the American people the straight truth. Mr. Williams, uh, you getting tired of uh, everybody saying nice things? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you I can't keep hear possibly you, enough. You, you want to retire every week, right? <laughs> it, 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 look, um, does it feel like it's ending? It feels like an out-of-body experience. Yeah, you know, it, it feels like, you know, uh, they're, they're talking about somebody else. I'm sure it'll soak in in a while. But uh, yeah, it's, I've been thinking about it for weeks and weeks and weeks. And now that it's actually here, there's an air of unreality about it. Yeah, a little bit of regret, I hope. Oh, sure. Yes, yeah. I know I'll miss the work, but this is the right time for me to step away while my legs are still working and I can still get around a little bit and do some other things. You know, I think about your beat. Um, I assume the most intellectually pleasing is the, the Supreme Court beat in, in many ways because it's such a high minded. I assume the hardest stuff is the school shootings. Oh, and yeah. all the shootings. I mean, when you've always, I've never the part that I never envied in your beat yeah. is when there was a shooting. It always takes a little bit out of you every time. Uh, and, you know, I had a really tough time covering the Boston Marathon bombing and the trial especially, to sit there day after day and have these people come in and say how the bombing had shattered their lives and, and they have shrapnel in them that they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives, loved ones that they've lost. Uh, on the other hand, the redeeming part of it, of course, was the great resilience of Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, But you're right. Those things are just, and they're so inexplicable, and they're so senseless. Uh, it, there's, you know, there's obviously no joy in those things. It's just a matter of trying to get it right. You know, your beat um, really relies on having public servants who seem to put the public over their own politics here, and yet the distrust people have of government... How would you, if somebody in, in Wyoming, there are plenty of people who probably think the government's always lying. <laughs> how would you tell them to say, you know, a government doesn't lie to you as much as you think? What would be some examples you'd give them? You're on a beat that I feel like where government's the most honest. Yeah, well, I think, you know, first of all, I think people overuse this term lie. Let's mm -hmm. think about what a lie is. An intentional mistruth. It's, it's knowing one thing and saying the opposite or saying something different. Whereas... People are sometimes mistaken. You know, the first information people have turns out to be wrong. Uh, I can't say that over my career of 29 years at NBC, I have been lied to very often. Misled, yes, but usually people who were trying to do the right thing. Um, and, and I think that's uh, I think that's generally true of the people that I've dealt with in the government. They really want to make sure you get get it right. Well, uh, I'm not done with you, um, but <laughs> I'm done with this. I will see you Sunday. <laughs> yes, sir. For one more. Uh, I'm just going to stay here. You just stay here? That'd yeah. be good. Well, we'll both I got a room in the back. Get your tent. That's good. Okay. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.